Dynamic Loading As we have seen, operating system aims at maximum CPU utilization and for efficient CPU utilization, we should keep more number of processes in the main memory, that is, we should increase the degree of multi-programming. Suppose if we keep an entire process within the main memory, then for each process itself, it will consume a lot of memory space and thus we will be able to keep only a few number of processes in the main memory. The memory management techniques of operating system to increase the degree of multiprogramming is solely based on this concept. Dynamic loading is one such technique and the other methods are dynamic linking, overlays and virtual memory concepts. First let's see what is dynamic loading. So if we have a program we first compile it and generate the object code which is a binary code in zeros and ones. This object code may be referring to some external symbols or external modules which are not defined within the same object code. So what the linker will do is, the linker will link all those modules into this object code and generate one single object code. For example, suppose we have a program with a main function and within it there is an if statement and if the if condition is true the max function has to be executed otherwise the min function has to be executed assume that both the functions max and min are not defined within the same program it is defined in some other program written by the same user so the compiler will now compile it and generate the object code now in this object code there are two symbols max and min whose definition is not provided within the same object code hence they are called undefined external symbols next come the task of linker the linker will resolve those undefined external symbols and locate their addresses and thereby locate their binary code or object code and finally the linker will link this object codes to the main object code and create one single object code. This is the linked object code. Hence the binary codes for all the modules are combined and together one single object code is created which is ready to be executed. Next comes the task of loader. The loader will load this object code into the main memory for execution. Hence all the modules including min and max are loaded to the main memory and now the program is being executed. All these instructions are executed. Suppose if statement is reached, assume the if condition is evaluated to be true. Hence, max function is executed. So see here, the min function is not executed. Even then, the min routine or the binary code for the min module is loaded to the main memory. Now consider if we postpone this loading process till the execution time, that is, we have the program, we first compile it, now all the modules are linked to it. Next, the loader will load just the main routine to the main memory and then start the execution of the program. Now all these instructions are executed, if condition is checked, assume the if condition is true, then max function has to be executed. Now it checks whether the binary code for max module is loaded to the main memory. No, it is not loaded. Now the control again passes to the loader. And the loader will load the max module to the main memory. Now the object code for max module is present in the main memory, hence the max function is executed. Now see here, the min function is not executed and hence the min function is not even loaded to the main memory. This method is called dynamic loading. 
Hence, in dynamic loading, we postpone the loading process till the execution. We first load just the main routine and start the execution of the program. And a new routine is loaded to the main memory only if it is called by a routine which is present in the main memory. Hence, a module which is not executed is not loaded to the main memory. And the previous case in which if we perform the entire loading process prior to execution, then it is called static loading. So in dynamic loading, we can see a better memory utilization than static loading. Because in static loading, we have loaded a module which is not even executed. So how can we use the dynamic loading concept to increase the degree of multiprogramming? For each process, even though the program may consist of a large piece of code, only a part of it is mostly executed. So by using dynamic loading, for each process we first load only the main routine to the main memory and then a routine will be loaded only if it is called and only if it is executed. Thus, for each process we will require only less memory space within the main memory and hence we will be able to load more number of processes to the main memory thereby we can increase the degree of multiprogramming and hence CPU utilization will also be increased.